Couch. 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 You give me one couch. I gave you three other couches. Two? Two couches. Be one, you please. Pay attention to please it. give me couch. What do you want? Couch. Couch, right. What do you want? I want couch. We don't have to shake one. I want couch. couch. Agree, please, though. You said you agreed before couch, agree. we started talking. I want to stop fighting. Have I better than fight? Yes. Your Honor, she said this Everything was 11 seconds. Everything has been nasty and pro provoking, it's, it's, mean spirited, I, no, and no, I'm not saying that. Crazy. If you ask, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think I misspoke. I may have been 45. I may have misremembered. She it's said it's it was a 11 seconds long. And that's when way longer. I okay, apologize. I misremembered. All right, it's an it, evidence. It may, it may help if, 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 if could we ask them to move the media player so we can see who's sitting there. We, we just have a blank screen, so. Okay, it's 45 well, seconds. Just, probably because we didn't publish it. There you go. Okay. Okay. Um, can we play that? Thank you. Couch. 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 You give me one couch. I gave you three other couches. Two? Two couches. Be one, you please. Pay attention to please give me couch. What do you want? Couch. Couch, right. What do you want? I want couch. We don't have to shake one. I want couch. Couch. Agree, please, though. You said you agreed before couch, agree. we started talking. I want to stop fighting. Have I ever been fighting? Yes. Everything you've said has been nasty and pro provoking and mean spirited. Not yours. And meant no, I'm not saying that. You asked me yours. By the way, you just threw a fucking cigarette on me. Mr. Depp, do you recognize what's in that recording? Do I recognize what's in the recording? Yes. Um, seems pretty clear that she's ordering me to the couch. Um, and I didn't want to go through with any, again, avoiding confrontation, trying to avoid confrontation in any way. Um, um, I can certainly say that the, the, without hesitation, there is no way under the sun that I would flick a cigarette at her or burn her with a cigarette. If I flicked ashes and an ash got on her, but she's certainly not screaming out in pain as if a cigarette is being put out on her. Uh, that's ludicrous. Do you recall the situation that's reflected in that audio recording? I believe that's Montreal, uh, excuse me, Toronto, um, <clears throat> which was right after the Venice Film Festival. It's the, we were at the Toronto Film Festival. Mr. Depp, I'd like to ask you about a couple text messages from May to 20, excuse me, May 22nd, 2016 that Mr. Rottenborn asked you about um, earlier. Yes. Um, and before I do, could you please remind the jury what was going on between you and Ms. Hurd's, between you and Ms. Hurd on May 22nd, 2016? On May 22nd. On May 21st, <clears throat> um, I had, she wanted, I hadn't seen her since the, since the 22nd of April, her birthday, which was when I left at 4.30 in the morning. Um, what, I, I believe, Objection, Your Honor. This is cumulative. He's already gone through all of this in his direct examination. And she asked him what was happening on May 22nd. And he's getting into what happened on May 21st. We've already been through this. Yeah. I, you, I, I believe that we're, he's providing context for where they I were on we the, can, 22nd, we can go but, to the 22nd. Um, if you could, Mr. Depp, please explain what was, where you were on the 22nd of, of May in 2016. As far as I can remember, the, on May 22nd, 2016, I was um, 
preparing, either preparing to leave for New York for uh, <coughs> rehearsals and then a tour with the Hollywood Vampires. Um, I was either preparing to leave or I was, uh, had left. I, I... Could we please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 736, please? And do you recall sending this text message to Ms. Hurd on May 22nd, 2016 at 6.19 p.m.? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, what did you mean when you told her nothing I have to say to you should elicit anything but a sense of ease? It was essentially, for me, it was a, I was bringing up what I had spoken to her about before, which was a peaceful resolution to the problems, the peaceful resolution in terms of a peaceful and private and quiet and calm divorce. Um, and so that's why I say it shouldn't elicit anything but a sense of ease um, because it was not about, I didn't want to argue. I didn't want anything but to end the marriage in the kindest way possible for all her family, my family, her, her myself, etc.